Hello, good morning guys. Today we are going to be running a diagnosis on this uh, and find the right the right solution. Whoa, that's heavy. Solution to this 407. We fix a lot of things. We've replaced the engine. We've uh, replaced the power steering electric power steering pump we've got the AC pipe working now we have next guy here which is the transmission system I'm not gonna be the one who's gonna do this but I'm gonna actually diagnose it so let's go ahead and drive it and give it okay my seat belt is not on do this very first time is shifting very smooth this is blowing cold so let me put my seat belt on okay now it's working so I want to see if he's gonna tell me that the gearbox is having problem now uh, when they complained of ABS as far as I can tell this is what you should know as uh, an owner or a car enthusiast, a DIY who is trying to fix a Pujo 407 transmission related issue. If you see that light right there, that guy, the ABS guy, do you think that is not your business because what your entitlement is as a technician or as a DIY to do is to fix up this guy to fix up the car uh, and uh, let the ABS go well the joke is gonna be on you because it's not gonna accept that so I think I've talked a lot right For two over over two minutes I've been giving you a lot of uh, orientation so let's dive into it and see what is actually wrong with the ABS because ABS a lot of things can trigger the ABS including a bad uh, wiring socket bad uh, speed sensors wheel sensors my function in the wiring harness and all that bad uh, brake uh, pump model so let me go ahead and uh, hook up my scanner I, I, I do want to like to let me find a suitable place and pull over and uh, I get my scan to on let me pull over here this is uh, pretty much a nice place and it feels like a glow before I was actually uh, 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 dragging the steering but it's so soft right now so I'm looking for the diagnostic port it's gonna be somewhere on the center console here so I'm gonna go ahead and close it up okay yeah guy shut up now you can see it right here so let me go ahead and plug it that's how you open it I'll plug it right there now this guy is on it seems like it's showing blue gotta tap it a little bit because Okay, now it's showing green. Who even thought people have to tap things like that when they make a mess? So let me go ahead and uh, I'm pretty much like dressing like I'm in a Zoom meeting right now. So let me go ahead and uh, pull up my box here. And let's see what she got. Okay, so Europe. Let's go to Europe. And that's it right there. Pujo. Let me increase the brightness so you can follow along. That's it here. So we'll go ahead and uh, let it do its own thing. So, what we're going to be looking at here, you see driving. Then I'm going to find a place and park. Okay, so we're going to select automatically. Right? Okay, 
now you can see right there so that's the information oh let's do it again yes this time I made a mistake I'm gonna find a shade that I'm gonna actually pull over and get this thing so what we wanna go is straight ahead into system selection what I'm doing right now is dangerous I'm driving and I'm doing this Okay, here we go. That's the automatic gearbox right there. So, yes. I'm pretty much happy because I've been working on this car for quite a long time now. It's loading up. Okay, let's read DTC code. Okay, say so communication not characterized. I'm gonna find that uh, U00 U 1108. Okay, pretty much that's the code we got right there. I don't want this transmission system to have any problem, so I'm gonna go ahead and find the another system. Okay, anti brake locking system that's the guy that's the guy to talk to in this situation right now because about to pull a plug and we don't like that I don't like that okay hurry I don't got all day actually I do I have all day what else am I doing here confirm oh seem like the ABS got a problem with communicating whoa 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 why do the ABS don't want to talk to us that's a problem right there. What could actually be the problem? Let's look at it again. Still want to do it again. Maybe it has to communicate. What? Now we're having D light. It's a red D flash. And it has a brake like as if the brake solvo is not there. What could actually happen here? Maybe fuse. Okay, finally it's communicating. Thank God. Okay. Oh my God. Can you see that right there? That's front left wheel speed sensor signal. Fourth should segue to positive. We have another one here again. That's a. That's a C. One three zero. Now. You, you followed my step on what I did right that is how you should do it sometimes this module might decide not to communicate but you got to talk to them right that's more like when you're trying to ask a girl out and she's acting she's snugging you still gotta talk to her right so front left wheel speed sensor what that means is this driver side here the wheel sensor on this tire is bad we're gonna take a look at it and see what happened to that speed sensor right there let's go to the next one and it says for communication with the engine management or ecm drivetrain interface no signal whoa so there is a loss of communication right there i'm gonna be needing a scope to actually troubleshoot that and it throw out this intermittent code i mean the same code that we got on transmission for communication with the engine management tcu drivetrain interface no signal absence of communication with the built-in system interface wow so it's not even communicating with the bsi no communication with the ecu so it seems like all the communication uh stuff is, is lost but Technically speaking, that doesn't mean that the ground is lost. If suppose the ground is lost, then there shouldn't be power going to the ABS control module where we are pulling this whole data information from. Now, before we go into uh, further section, I'm going to go ahead and engage this car into uh, park. Now, I'm going to give you what you need to know. All right? We're here for solution. You met the right guy. So... Now with this, uh, let me explain. In the absence of this no communication here, in the presence of no communication with the ECU, a whole lot of problem is going to get loose out of the package. You know, 
so here uh i'm also gonna be explaining one more thing here come on come on okay in the presence of and it says it's permanent it's not static okay the fourth communication with the engine management is intermittent oh thank god and this one is also intermittent so we're gonna erase this fourth code absence of communication with the built-in system interface is intermittent that is what you need to look out for because it's very very important all right attention to detail is the key so i'm gonna go ahead and erase this error code and see if we see which one is gonna stay whichever one that stays is the real problem and when we address it we're gonna that is solving this gear problem and it's gonna make my whole life a lot better and i hope you guys are enjoying this whole process sometimes when you're put your 406 or 307 gearbox automatic gearbox is acting crazy do not be alarmed this system is high tech seriously high tech and you need to do what i do right now follow my lead and no problems you're not gonna have any problem because you're gonna go ahead and use your own hand to solve the problem and save all that chunk of thousands of dollars in repair because i don't know if you know that whenever anybody any mechanic or any diy mention that your car got a transmission issue whoa then you're preparing to actually go through CS because of cardiac arrest problem. So now, so let's go ahead and see if we can be able to look at this one here. I'm gonna find this sensor. I'm gonna uh, order one for it and have this resolved after getting in touch with the owner of this very car. If you appreciate the effort which I put so far, then I'm gonna go ahead to do more. But if it doesn't, then he can go ahead and figure this shit out and get it done by himself. There's a lot of terrible bad mechanic down here in Nigeria and uh, I do like my own effort being appreciated all right there have been a lot of very terrible things this week I'm just trying to take my time to do the right thing to do the right job so let me go down right now let's spin this wheel this way no this way because we are dealing with this tire right here on the driver's side then we take a look at that ABL wheel sensor maybe it's not even plugged maybe it's not even connected <laughs> Okay, what is that guy right here? I couldn't see it, but uh, okay, here we go. Come on, guy. I still don't seem to see me. See it. <laughs> I would have to lose this fire when I get down. There is a lot of excessive play. The wisp sensor has to be one of this one here. I can't see it, but I, I'm only using this camera to see if I can be able to see it. So this one should be the wheels speed sensor. So it's connected. So probably it's bad and gonna be needing to replace. So go back inside. And let's wipe this error code and see what happened. Clear the error code. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I should switch off the ignition. The yeah, wish is my command. Okay, and switch it back on. Let's switch it back on and click OK. You say wait for 11 seconds, 10 seconds is counting. I'm waiting, please do not uh, waste my time. I don't got all the two seconds. Okay, now loading. Fourth code clear complete. So let's read it again and see what she got right there. Okay, it's only that sensor that is the problem. That's a good one right there. Um, it makes me more happy right now. Okay. But we still got a check engine light on though. And that is the main reason why is because of this that the ABS is ABS light is showing. So and that is why it's saying you should stop. Alright? 
so now we know why it's showing this sign here suppose you find it some other time you should know exactly what it means so it's electronic stability program okay guys so you can see it right here it's giving you information the self-diagnostic system everything is working in a good condition so i'm gonna be going ahead to go and turn this car around and i'm gonna place a call and find out how much that sensor costs so i'll have it at the back of my mind while trying to go and give the car to the owner as much as the oxygen sensors the two oxygen sensors are due for replacement this mileage that you see right now i'm actually supposed to correct it because the engine have just been replaced but no no that's not what i paid for so uh now that you know how to solve this problem related to when it's erratic it's not shifting to the next gear when you drive for some times you hitting the gas pedal and it's misbehaving i hope this is gonna help you now don't forget everything which i've taught you right here clear every error code shit that is stored right in the computer mainframe so it can have a time to breathe and think outside the box and when you do that then the ecu is gonna say welcome then it's gonna help in piloting the affairs of how this car runs now let's go back i want to go ahead and revisit that transmission system and clean up that error code that is right there inside uh inside the system right there I want to go ahead and check it again i want to clean it because uh i want to be sure that 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 code right there is not having any interference in the transmission system so let it load it up that's the last thing we, which we're gonna do right here now a lot of you guys might be having a lot of other questions go ahead and drop it on the comment section below and it says intermittent so that's good so i'm gonna go ahead and clean this shit up yes yes clearing the fourth code is gonna tell me to shut down the engine too to enable fourth code test engine off so i'm gonna shut the engine down okay hack on neutral accepted so let's go ahead and do it again switch off the ignition and switch it back on okay i've done what you said wait for 11 seconds your wish is my command today is your day i'm sorry guys you can see how dirty everything here is there's this is a dust season down here okay the fourth code clear so let's go ahead and look at it and see oh my god that's lovely that's lovely makes me so happy okay now we're gonna find exactly why this check engine light is on let's start the car first Oh my God, I just lost power right now. The battery is dead. Whoosh! What am I gonna do right now? Okay, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The battery just died on me right now. I've gotta go somewhere else and find a battery and come back here and get this car home and everything should be good. Have a wonderful one, I'll catch you. See you some other time when you got any problem with your Pujo. You know what? I got your back. Right?